world. That class, which is taught as part of integral yoga, has very profound physiologic benefits in its design. Once you learn them, even if you don't practice regularly, you can still rely on them in, in times of need. So it starts with chanting, which immediately gets you out of that left brain, sort of stuck thinking. And then we do the eye exercises. The eye is the only part of the brain that you can see on the surface of the body. And those pathways are there, so if you relax your eyes, it has a soothing effect on the brain itself. Drop your palms, feel the heat, and then cup your eyes with the palms. Feel the warmth of the palm. And then slowly bring the palm down until the fingertip touches the eyeballs. And then slowly massage the eyeballs. Outward. One, two, three. Then after the eye exercises in the yoga class, there's the sun salutation, which acts on all parts of the body. So that first, you get all parts of the body sort of warmed up and loosened up, and sun salutation is very powerful for doing that. 10, 11, and 12. Terrific. Then we do the backward bends first in integral yoga. They're a little harder to do, so we do them first. Elbows up. Good, good, that's good. A little more up, a little more. Not to strain much. Now, raise the arms up again. And then we relax into the forward bends afterwards. Exhale and slowly bend forward. Bend at the hip. Try to touch the toe. If you can't, hold the leg wherever you can. After we've sort of shaken and loosened everything up, turn the body upside down in shoulder stand to drain the lymph. It will look nice if it is very straight and vertical. And then we correct the neck by doing the fish, and that allows the lungs to expand more fully. Touching of the throat. That's good. Okay, see, that's where you should feel. Lift the left leg. And finally, to turn the body from side to side to give a gentle massage to the kidneys to get rid of any waste products that we might have generated by all this moving around in the yoga class. Twist the head. Wonderful. Now, give a push here. Exhale and bend forward. So we end the yoga class, which with yogic seal, where you cross your legs and bend over them, which stretches the parasympathetics at the base of the spine. If you can, bring the forehead onto the floor. It gets us prepared for the deep relaxation. As there's no tension in the body, there's no need for a heavy breathing. So the breath is very shallow. And then pranayama. Simply observe the breath. And finally, meditation, which is the most direct path to stress management. So to consciously choose to remain peaceful in the midst of our day, that meditation has a great power to do that. Now you see, you were the witness of your own body, your own breath, and your mind. If that is so, who was the one who was observing all these things? That means you are not the body, not even the vital breath, not even the mind. You seem to be a witness. That is the essential quality of the soul, the pure soul. Om Shanti, Om Shanti.
Dio.